Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. So in this video, I want to talk about my experience in DEF CON 31. So this is this year's 2023's DEF CON. And I just want to talk about from the day one to my last day, all the cool stuff that I've learned, all the cool stuff that I've, you know, seen. Obviously, I'm just going to talk about high level stuff. And would I recommend it? I would definitely recommend it. I got this cool shirt. I, I don't know if you can see it. It's all the way up there. I don't know if you can see. Got this cool hat. Um, got a few little badges back there. I got this badge. I guess this is the badge when you get in. This cool little DEF CON badge. Uh, I guess I'm a human. I don't know. But um, it was super, super cool. So from day one, you know, before we actually get started into the video, you know the deal. Please like, subscribe, and share. And if you have any questions about DEF CON, just leave it in the comments below and I'll be sure to answer it whenever I can. So day one, I think it was on Wednesday. So day one, you get your badge. So you go, you go what's called online, uh, line con, like DEF CON, line con. So literally, I prepaid for my ticket or my registration or my badge or whatever you want to call it. It was super quick. I probably, I guess it wasn't super, super quick, but it was about an hour and a half wait on that line, which I thought wasn't too bad. We got there at 7 a.m. By 8.30, we had our badge. We can walk around. But there was nothing really going on on day one. And that was, I believe, on Wednesday. We get the badge, right? So we just, you know, there was a few villages open. And we'll go, you know, about, you know, we'll go on about the villages when I share my screen, once I show you the villages and which ones were my favorite, my recommendations and my feedback on what I thought about each village that I was a part of. Um, I did some CTFs, which was really cool. I was able to do the Lucky Martin CTF. Uh, there was another one, Snacky CTF, Red Team Village. There was a few really, really cool CTFs. Um, and we have an inside joke with me and a few buddies uh, about the snacky, which was like getting on their Wi-Fi. Uh, obviously, if you're really a noob or something like that, you know, you have to. It was a little tricky, but it was pretty funny because we had a friend that <laughs> had a hard time connecting to the Wi-Fi. And it was an inside joke about getting on their Wi-Fi. But anyhow, so I thought overall, the whole... The whole conference was an amazing experience. And what I thought was amazing, um, not only the technology, not only the hacking, the cybersecurity aspect, the best part for me was seeing people that you connect with on the internet. I'll, I'll mention some names and you'll probably, if you follow me on Instagram or Twitter, you'll probably see some of my posts. Um, like Heath Adams from TCM Security, the guy is awesome. Man, if you ever watch this video, I don't know if you ever watch it, but you do, man. I love everything you do. You're an amazing human being and keep doing you, dude. Like, keep, keep killing it, you know? Um, Zach Hill from IT Career Questions. Uh, I worked with him in the past and now I was actually able to meet him in person. He's a super cool dude. Um, there was other people like John Hammett. Like, he was an awesome, awesome human being, super humble guy. Um, kudos and thank you for taking time out of whatever we, I don't remember where I think I saw you at the circle ball and just to take a few minutes to talk and shoot the stuff and uh, you know other people like uh, Kev Tech from IT you know IT support doing his IT support stuff on his channel congrats he just hit 50,000 subscribers so kudos to you dude and uh, who else there was other people um, that I saw more on my Instagram stuff more people I follow. I was able to room with Zero Day James. He was hanging out with me and he drove from California to Vegas to kick it for the few days. And there were so many other people. Um, Pseudo Zeus, you know, we did some arm wrestling. That was fun. He was the last hope of the whole gang and obviously he lost. So he's going to have to train and get better. And for next time, I love you, dude. Um, but it was a lot of fun. We got to network with a whole bunch of people. Just walking around there, just shooting the stuff with folks, networking with people. That was probably my favorite part, you know? And 
<laughs> this was super, super crazy. Overall, like I make these videos for people to learn or whatever network and shoot the stuff with me, ask me questions. I want to say the most humbling thing was at this conference. Uh, I've probably seen maybe five people since I've done YouTube that noticed me. There was one in New York when I went home, like I went to this random like bodega, like this corner store back home. And someone said, are you InfoSec Pat? I'm like, how the hell? Like, I'm like in my neighborhood back home. Like there's not a lot of nerds. And I was like, yeah, my name is Pat. And he's like, yeah, I watched your videos. I'm like, dude, that's, that's super cool. And that was like a year and a half ago when I was in New York. And then like when I went out to Texas, someone noticed me, you know, two people noticed me out in Arizona when I was out there for work, like over the years. And then like one person, I think down here in Florida that noticed me. But when I went to this conference, I was super, super like overwhelmed with people noticing me. And I didn't know that many people knew me. You know what I mean? So I want to thank every single person that said hello to me, whatever you took a picture with me. I'm no superstar. I'm no one on the internet. I'm just a guy that talks into a camera and just does this, you know? But the, the amount of people I was able to help or whatever conversations I had with these folks, my heart goes out to you. And if there's anything you ever need, you know, like uh, Stitchy, Stitchy, you know, the main man of the hour, you know, you can follow him on Instagram. He's an awesome guy. I bust his balls the whole time I was there. Like, he's a big fan of mine. And I, I, I love you, dude. Like, kudos for all the support that you've done for the InfoSec Pat. Um, the community, right? It's not for me. InfoSec Pat is not me. It's the whole community, right? It's the channel. It's the brand or it's the whatever you want to call this. I don't want to say it's me. I just want to say it's the whole community that makes this happen. And uh, man, it's just like the over, <laughs> overall, like people that knew me out there in DEF CON, I'm not lying. And James, the zero day James can witness. He probably witnessed a few. And when I was out with other people, like the guy and other folks that I had networked with, it was probably over a hundred people. Um, and it was really, really <laughs> Like even waiting in line for my badge, there was probably like, I don't know, 20 people that knew me. I was like, holy moly. So I just want to say thank you just for recognizing me, recognizing my content. If it's on Instagram, Twitter, or here on YouTube, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. I just want to put that out there. Thanks. And let's keep on growing, keep sharing my content. And at some point, I want to have Heath Adams from TCM Security. I want to have, you know, Keith Barker. He's one of my like biggest mentors in, in IT and networking and whatever. I probably talk about that man like all the time. I was able to see him while I was out in Vegas, had dinner with him. I want to have him on the channel to talk about his journey um, when he got into it and how he would recommend, you know, people getting into the field today. If it's that's more of the Cisco world, Palo Alto. Um, uh, Florida Gate and you know all that good stuff but anyhow that's enough about that I want to say thank you for all the cool people that I was able to hang out with that I was able to meet take pictures with and it's super humbling from the bottom of my heart right so kudos for everyone thank you so much so let's get into what I thought about DEF CON right so I want to jump onto my machine and I'll yap more and I'll show you about the villages um, the ones I was able to see and what I was able to, you know, what my feedback is, right? So let's jump onto that and uh, get kicking. All right, so you guys can see my screen now. So this is the villages that were at DEF CON. Let me make this a little larger. So AI Village, this was super, super cool. I was in there, you know, there's, there's, Different kinds of, I'm just, I'm not going to go into detail because I'll be here all night, but AI Village was awesome. I, I would say I would recommend that, but obviously the, the conference is over. Misconfiguration Village was super cool. I really liked that one. I don't know the XR. Blue Team Village, I really liked. I got a few cool, cool things on there, like, uh, um, and some talks that were out there that talk about, obviously, incident response, triaging and all that good stuff. 
Aerospace. This was really, really cool. I got some pictures. So if you want to see that on Instagram, um, this was really, really cool. You can, you know, that's the Lockheed Martin CTF. Uh, me and a few buddies were doing that. And it was a super, super cool CTF. I learned a lot. And this is where you really learn. Like, because when I get stuck on like a hack the box CTF, I can go look up a, a walkthrough or some of the answers to if I get stuck with this, this is no, there's no write-ups for this. So it's like, you're really stuck. You really have to put your brain to work. So I really like that. Obviously my brain really hurt after the few days without sleep and we're using a lot of brain power. So this one was really cool. Um, biohacking, I didn't, I didn't go to that village. Crypto and privacy village was super cool. Uh, App, AppSec village that was upstairs on, you know, in one of the, I think I have a picture there as well. Uh, Blacks in Cyber, I did not do that. I didn't go there. Car hacking village, this was super cool. This is when they had the Tesla. Let's go ahead and see uh, if they talk about what was on there. Car hacking village, let's see if we can click on this. Uh, do, 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 do. Make this a little larger. Group of professionals and hobbies that hack cars, blah, 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 hands on hacking. So this was pretty much a Tesla that you were able to hack. It was pretty cool. Cloud Village, I didn't go to Cloud Village. Uh, data duplication, I didn't go there. Embedded systems, I went there, that was pretty cool. Um, ham radio, this was really cool. I was able to you know, see some handheld radios, how the, the frequency, how the, all that stuff is, works, and obviously from the cybersecurity standpoint. Uh, hardware hacking was really cool. Uh, I see. ICS Village, I didn't see that one. Lockpick was pretty cool, obviously lockpicking. IoT Village, this was awesome. This is where TCM was too. So, and Heath Adams and, and the whole TCM crew. Uh, so you, you could have, you know, if you went over there to see him, you were probably in this village. Uh, packet Hacking Village, this was really cool. This is where, uh, you know, you can learn Wireshark, you can do packet captures. Oops, uh-oh, what'd I do? I must have clicked something. So. That was pretty neat. Uh, payment village, come, you know, payments, obviously, payment history and all that stuff. I didn't see that. Physical security, I did see. Password village, I did see. Um, da, 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 da. Telecom, I did see. Let's see. The red team village was, was another good one. Recon village was another good one. Social engineering, this was probably my favorite. The reason why is because they had someone. Um, they talked about social engineering. They described social engineering. I don't want to go into details, but, oh, I guess it shows it here. You can watch our call. So you can pretty much, there's a call, a person that calls whoever and social engineers and see how much they can get, what information they can get out of people. So say, for example, this is not legit, but I'm one of the callers and I'm calling, you know, ABC Incorporated Corporation. And I'm calling ABC Incorporation, pretending I'm with the SOC team or the security compliance team. And I'm calling to say, hey, what's up, guys? I'm here with the, my name is Steve with the, you know, compliance audit team, badge number one, two, three, four, whatever. I'm seeing if you have any, you know, out of, out of date operating systems, see, if, make sure everything's up to date. Your antivirus is all good. Uh, what, what operating system are you running? Oh, I'm running Windows 10. Okay, perfect. Can you tell me what version? And then you get, you, you know, you pretty much go down the list of getting information from these people and see how far you can go. And uh, the voting village. So these were all the villages, but my favorite was the social engineering and red teaming. That was pretty much the villages, right? So let's see if we can just go um, DEF CON 31, uh, do, 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 do. Flow plan. Let's see if we can actually see everything. All right. So this is, let's see if we can look at this. All right. Let's see the location. All right. So this is the Flamingo. This is just different, different, uh, uh, different hotels out there in Vegas. So Flamingo was one hotel, right? And let's see if there's any, uh, let me go back up. Flamingo. Uh, let, me, let me go back. Sorry. Uh, Caesars, Forms. All right. So 
Let me see if I can make this bigger. All right, so Caesar's form. So like this is the main, you know, where it is the main uh, conference room or whatever you want to call it. Main com wherever wherever everyone is. So you have track one, track two, chill out contest. This is where I mainly hung out, where all the contests are, where all the uh, CTFs, car hacking village was inside of here. Password village, merch, where you can get like hats like this, shirts. Um, and then you have this hall over here and you can see ICS, hardware hacking, IoT village vendors, Blacks and Cyber, and everyone here. And then you can you know walk around here, whatever. I don't want to talk about all that. I just wanted to come on here and just talk about my experience overall. And we've been talking for, I don't know, God knows how long now. So that's pretty much my, my spiel on DEF CON. I would recommend it. Um, there were some funny things that happened, you know, like I had a burner phone out there. So, you know, and I guess some people looking for like, you know, an Apple TV thing would come up and, you know, thing they were trying to like get some information. Obviously, you go into these hacking conferences, there's always going to be, you know, a troll or someone that's trying to hack you or whatever. You just have to be super careful. So if you ever decide to go out there, um, it's not the end of the world. You don't have to worry about people, you know, hacking into your stuff. Like, yeah, you do. But I don't know, maybe I, I walk on life. The way I walk life is I'm not scared of anything. You know what I mean? Like, I don't, I'm not going to be phased by a hacker that's gonna what are they gonna do like the phone i had out there was not really nothing anyway what are you gonna see a couple of contacts that i had that i had you know that i was talking to out there so yeah that's pretty much my feedback i really enjoy it let me jump back to my full screen and then continue yeah so yeah like overall i really enjoyed defcon I really want to say thank you for everyone that's, again, thank you for everyone that said hello to me, that had, you know, spent time with me through, you know, the four or five days that we were out there, for everyone that, you know, we ate dinner with, we freaking kicked it with, whatever. And, um, you know, share this video for the exposure if you want to have any, if you have any feedback from when you went, or if you were there, if I missed anything, please leave it in the comments below. Like, what did you enjoy best about DEF CON? and share your experience with me in the comments or, you know, join my Discord and, you know, you can talk about that there. But it'll probably be better in the comments below so other people can see it. So if you guys enjoyed the video, thank you so much. If it's been informative for you guys, I really appreciate it. And if not, sorry. <laughs> but uh, I really thank you guys so much for checking it out. And until next time, have an awesome day.